This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we are painting a couple of figures from uh, Frosthaven. Uh, one of them being the Banner Spear. Uh, very, very, very uh, uh, cool human Banner Spear. I really liked it. Uh, uh, she is just fantastic. And I'm also doing the Drifter. So I'm going to show you all the things that I did. Uh, I kind of kept it nice and simple so you can get it to the table. The most important thing, the, the, the miniatures are important in this. Um, I, I feel but um, you know having them painted just adds to what is already a fantastic experience let's go down see how to paint these two then I'll so see you on the these. first thing that I want to uh, do here is uh, have you take a look at what I've done here we're gonna be working on the drifter and the banner spear these are the two characters that I'm gonna roll with early uh, they really are interesting and uh i think they, they caught my eye pretty good so uh I, i'm pretty excited about uh working with these uh with these two uh, i don't know much about them but i'm really excited about playing them to be honest with you um, um these cards tell you a lot and the art is just absolutely fantastic which is going to basically uh help me along the way so uh the first thing i did is i sprayed with a very dark gray uh, why? Because that facial area is is where I wanted my base because you really want that to shine there. So uh, a uniform gray I sprayed the entire uh, um, model with. The next thing I did is I took a mocha brown from um, Vallejo. I think I have it right here. Uh, it's a Marion... Cabra, I, yeah, whoever comes up with these names uh, should be shot, to be honest with you. Uh, and I used that for the leggings, and then I went over uh, the club here with a leather brown. I'm just trying to get some base coats on here so we can take things from there. Uh, I also sprayed uh, the um, banner spear here with a um, gunmetal undercoat. So I just sprayed the whole thing. And then I took uh, the Marion Cabra to do the eagle, which is, you know, you, you want him to shine because he's glorious. And um, we're going to build out from there. Again, trying to cut some steps out, okay? And that's, that's where it really w works. Now, if you don't have these undercoats, you could just paint these things on, okay, as a base undercoat. Um, however you want to want to do it you could paint this black and just go over the whole thing with a lead belcher or something like that for this particular one or just you know undercoat white and then just go over with a very dark gray make your own gray white and black you know mix them together until you get the gray consistency that you want so we're going to continue on here and we're going to work with individual guys and we'll go from there and uh i'll show you how to get some of this stuff done so the next thing I, I'm taking is you shabby brown. Uh, I mean you shabby bone, not brown. Um, and what I wanted to do was hit these little bone things on his legs, okay? Which I've already put one coat on, and then over the top here he has like these uh, protruding bone things or whatever the heck they are. I want to hit over those again. Uh, I did a little bit of the cloth back here because I'm going to go over this with a very dark, dark wash. And that's going to pull a lot of this out. So I'm okay with that. Uh, he's got like a little like light colored thing underneath here. And I don't want to mess with his skin. So I'm going to darken up his skin and then those armbands are going to differ each and are, are going to break out and take care of what I'm trying to accomplish here. So that's that so uh you little you shabby bone just go over this remember we're just trying to get tabletop quality here so for our banner spear here i'm going to take some leather brown again we're just you know it doesn't look like much when we start now we're going to paint over this this um this gun metal and that could be a little bit difficult so you're going to need a couple coats here and that's all i'm trying to do is just get all the uh, fur aspect uh, on here okay and just get that nice and covered 
I wanted a little bit of a different brown so we don't get confused with our, our, our beautiful eagle here, which we are going to do. This is all going to be covered up in a wash. Now, if you make a mistake and you go over the lead belt or, or the gunmetal, don't worry, you can go over it. And don't worry about the base because we're going to take care of the base itself. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Uh, this is Frost Haven, so I'm going to go uh, pretty... Yeah, we're going to go frosty. That's for dog launcher, and I'll show you how we do that with the base. You want to get the belt here. You want to get how it, the, the fur comes up into her shoulder, and then uh, it'll all come together. So a little uh, leather brown from our good friends over at Army Painter uh, will do wonders for that. All right, let's move on to the next step. So next, I'm going to take some Abaddon Black. And you're going to have to go over this twice, again, because of the undercoat, but it's worth it. Uh, I'm going to do his, ar his um, armbands black. I think it just works with the very his dark gray skin. And I think that'll work real well. So I did that, <clears throat> which works pretty good. And then, of course, with our banner spear, she has black hair, so we really want to bring that in there and kind of just, I'm going to go over it again just to make sure that we got it. And don't worry about anything. If you make a little mistake, you can always fix it later. That's the beauty thing about doing this kind of stuff. You can just fix it later. And there we go. Perfect. Now we'll move on to our next step. So I wanted to try something different. I used a steel gray here from Vallejo. Um, and from, from the look, I wanted to make get that kind of bluish in there, but I want to leave his skin kind of gray, if that makes sense. So what I did is I painted over all these areas here that I had spray painted gray, and, and it actually goes on there really, really well. And I'm, I'm gonna touch all this other stuff up but I kind of left everything else here. And again, you know, I'm looking for a good playable quality. I kind of want to live that. I want to see how this wash goes on here. It should go on there very, very well and really bring some of this stuff out. We'll see how that, that transpires. But um, uh, I just wanted to do something a little different. Uh, what, what would compromise with this is probably a Fetters Gray from Citadel, a Space Wolf type of gray. Um, which would work very, very well for his cowl here, which I think gives him a little bit more life, and I kind of like it. So I'm going to go with it. Now, I'm going with a magic blue here. And the reason I'm doing that <clears throat> is because she has this like a little shawl in the front here. And I want to make sure that, that it kind of breaks up some of the browns and stuff like that. I put a little Canadian, uh, Canadian flesh here. Um, for her skin, um, you know, it's gonna look real basic until we really take the washes and work it in there. Uh, she has a bit of the cowl that comes in the back here, so you wanna be very careful. And it's so blue that it almost makes it look fake in a way, and that's why I've got to work on this a little bit, and, and what I wanna do is really kinda I want to darken that blue up and shade that blue and dry brush that blue out a little bit so it has some depth. The blue is so strong that it, 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 it kind of gives it too much. It, you know, sometimes there's just a little bit too much. But um, I really think that this color is beautiful and really will work well. Uh, she has a flag here. That's more of a greenish. So I'm going to work with that a little bit. Um, and you want to be real careful over here. There is a little bit more blue of that blue cape in there. And you want to be able to get in there without hitting your browns or your spear. Um, it's okay to hit this banner here. Okay, because you're going to be going over that banner. And then I want to come over here a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just up into there. And that kind of works for me right now. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to kind of try to figure it out a little bit. How I want to go about it. Okay. Because the washes are really going to darken everything up. And you don't want to darken the blue too much. But you do want to get it out of there. Okay. So that's what we're going to do there. The next thing I took is Sick Green. Okay. Uh, from Vallejo again. 
and um, I'm going over this banner and I really like this color it's almost like Seahawk colors which is perfect for me because I'm a big Seahawk fan so of course I want my banner guard to kind of represent my team a little bit all right maybe that's a little bit too much folks but as you can see it just goes on there very very nice and uh, we almost got all our base colors on here. We just got a few more things to pop on here. So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll go, we'll come back. Uh, also, just to let you know, I've been taking a little bit all the colors that I've been using, like the, the really bright blue and stuff like that, and making this bead necklace around uh, my boy, um, the Drifter. So um, that's working too. So we're getting ready to the point where we can really start highlighting and darkening things up and things like that and really get these things where we want to get them so we can get playing this fantastic experience. So not, next I'm going to take one of my favorite colors, uh, my favorite washes of all time, which I basically use everything for kind of, uh, just because I like what it does. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my Agrath Earthshade and I'm really just going to work it into some of the areas here, some of the bone, right, right in here, and then on the side here, I really want to hit that area and really kind of really get that in there really, really good. <clears throat> on the back here, where I have kind of like this, this nice little fur or whatever going on, I'm going to work it into there a little bit. I want to work it into the top of this club that our drifter has and I'm working it a little bit into this everything I'm dulling everything down and it, it really works very 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 well for what I'm trying to accomplish here and I like what I'm doing here all right and then I'm just gonna kind of go crazy a little bit and just go all over the place and just make sure I get it in there for our our our, our uh, banner spear I want to do the same thing I want to get right onto my eagle here onto her face um, right into the clothing so that really gets into the recesses here because we're gonna we're gonna go over that at some point <clears throat> and we really want to get this on here because we want this to dry really really well okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that dry we'll come back and we'll do a little bit more. Next, I took a little bit of this Retribution Armor. Um, this is a great color to have. Uh, really brings things out. He has like a little medallion here, so I just touched that a little bit. And then uh, around his necklace here, I just put a little bit there. I, I went over the horn here. Um, <clears throat> uh, the hilt of the, the dagger, which I wanted to get in. And then, of course, part of the... Um, quiver I took care of and uh, I'm really happy with that so there we go um, <clears throat> with our banner spear I went over the health of the sword which I'm just touching up right now uh, she has like a little piece here that I, I did I did a little bit of her cuff link here uh, around her her armband there we go and uh, just a little bit gold there, the end of the hilt here, a little bracket there, uh, and it all works out real well there so far. Let's move on to our next color. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of this Necron compound, and what I'm going to do is I got it written, you know, drilled in here. It's a dry brush, and I want to go over the metallics and really make those pop. So I want to hit anything that I have a metallic in, because that's going to really bring that out. I'm going to come up over here by the blades and bring it in all the the spears that she has because after all you know she is the banner spear okay maybe a little bit over the hilt a little bit there we go just really bring that out not being afraid to really rub it in there okay these are very very nice models this is a very 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 nice nicely done kit here and all the models are beautifully done alright there we go 
And then over here, I just want to touch on the blade a little bit to bring that out a little. That's all you got to do. Just a little bit, just a touch, folks. You don't have to go crazy. And boom, there we go. We're, start, we're starting to come into the home stretch here. Now I got this uh, Cyberite Green, and I just threw this on this brush, and I want to take it all, as much as I can, off. Okay? And what I want to do here is I want to hit this banner ever so lightly. Ever so lightly. I just want to hit the high spots, folks. All right? And that's going to bring some life to this banner. Okay? And you can see, and I'll take some close-up of these, and you'll see these on uh, uh, Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. And you'll see where I'm going with a lot of this. There we go. That's all I want to do. Simple as that. It's simple as that. Just something real easy. I'm going to do the same thing with a Thousand Islands uh, Sun Blue, okay? And what I want to do with that, dry out, clear off my brush a bit. And then again, I'll show you. I'll shake it up a little bit. All I want to do is just get a little bit on here. That's all I want to do. Just a little bit. Eh, see, see, that's not light enough for me. That's not that's not light enough for me. So I'm going to take a little bit of rust gray. I got some uh, um, rust gray here, and I think that'll work real well in there. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that, and and not even take that off my brush, okay? And just kind of work it in here a little bit, make that a little bit more bluer, with a little gray touch there. That's all I want to do. And then I want to take it off. Okay? And then I want to hit those blue areas. Remember what I said about these blue areas? I didn't want them to overpower anything. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of go over them ever so lightly and let it dull down that bright blue and give it a little bit of what I was looking for. Same thing on the back here. Okay, I'm just going to work that in there. Work it, work it, work it in there. I think that blue was just a little bit too bright. It was, it overpowered the miniature. So by just taking that rust gray a bit and then just dulling it down a little bit and working that in there. I'm leaving the, the, the legitimate part of the color there. But what I'm doing is I'm dulling it down making it more realistic. See how it sits up there a bit? A lot better, a lot better for our, our hero here. All right, let me get work that in there in that corner. There we go, our banner, our banner spear is looking right where we need her to be. All right, let's move on to our next part. Before I finish the highlights on this, uh, I couldn't find, I know I have a, a, a thing of um, snow, but um, I couldn't find it. It's probably in storage unit. So uh, I took this fine uh, ballist, the gray blend here, and just um, I glued it on to our, uh, I just take some uh, Elmer's glue, spread it around, and then I get it on there and I dry, you know, I just wait for it to dry. Once it dries, I'm going to go over it with some white. And what I'm going to do is create snow. After all, it is Frost Haven. So we're going to let those dry, but we're going to continue while it's drying to do the highlights on these guys and keep making them come out. So there we go. Well, there you go, folks. Just very simple uh, versions of the Drifter and the Banner Spear. Um, I, pan I just threw some white over that, that, that uh, gray uh, ballistic and uh, came out pretty well. I got to find what I did with mine. As you can see, just... Nice, simple job, ready to play, ready to go. Um, and the same thing with uh, the drifter here, just ready to, you know, go into our first uh, battle here. And I'm really excited about it. Uh, real easy jobs. Uh, if you follow along, uh, th this is just very, very simple, very basic. And uh, I think uh, you'll find it uh, helpful, hopefully. Uh, so let's go up top and get my final thoughts. Well, there you have it. Simple to the point. Uh, I'm going to do a few more figures for you. Uh, I hope this little blueprint I did helps. Uh, again, 
table quality, get it to the table, start playing, get those guys retired, and then uh, uh, have the, the other guys ready to go. And that's the way we're going to do it. So uh, uh, really uh, just, a, just a fun experience painting these figures. There's not a lot of them, but the ones that you got are absolutely gorgeous and fantastic. And uh, we're gonna, we're, I'm going to do a couple more lessons on these. Uh, hopefully this helps you. Uh, and if not, hey, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but uh, I'm having a good time, and that's the most important thing. Frosthaven, a, a tremendously glorious experience. Uh, and you're definitely going to want to get this if you have the chance to get it. it the amazing figures, amazing everything with this thing. This is just such an upgrade from Gloomhaven. I think you'll really enjoy it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.